Soxaroo's boss Ainge Postic Aglu is ready to unleash Tim Cahill on Syria on Tuesday night, aiming to sweep the visitors away in the second leg of their World Cup playoff. Postic Aglu will instruct his players to attack the Syrians from the opening whistle, backed by a raucous home crowd hoping to see the Australians move a step closer towards the World Cup. Despite praising striker Tommy Jurek for his performance in the first leg draw in Malaysia on Thursday night, Postik Aglu admitted that he was tempted to deploy his country's record goalscorer to unnerve the Syrian defence. Tim Cahill's high tempo style could see him start against Syria. Picture George Salpigtitis. Tim Cahill's high tempo style could see him start against Syria. Picture, George Salpigtidis Source News Corporation Australia. Postikaglu predicted that his team could put the game to bed quickly, if they get off on the right foot, after conceding a late equaliser in the first leg. Tom Rogic is likely to come into the side as well, with Postikaglu promising to rotate his forward line, to maximise his side's energy levels while other figures such as Massimo Luongo and James Troisi will play a role at some point. Tommy worked awfully hard the other night, Postikaglu said. Over the last two games, the Thailand game and the other night, he probably could be in double-digit international goals already in his career. So he's come along really well for us. Soxaroos will get job done at home. Slater, Soxaroos failed to land KO blow. But having Timmy there and being able to throw Tommy Jurek on later is certainly something that's in my thinking. Either way we go, we've certainly got a weapon coming off the bench. But I really think the start is going to be important. We can really put the game to bed if we start strongly. Jurek hits the post twice 031. Football, Tommy Jurek has hit the post twice in successive shots at goal against Syria. I'll put a lineup out there that I think will be able to do that, and that's what it will come down to. We obviously have some depth, and it would be silly not to use it. There are some guys with real good energy who didn't use it the other night. It makes sense for us, especially if we can start strong, to make sure we have some fresh bodies out there, later. A few of them are really keen to get out there and make an impact, so we'll definitely make some changes. Postikaglu suggested his defense is likely to remain unchanged, praising the back three of Milo's Dejanek. Trent Sainsbury and Matthew German for their work in the first leg. Cahill soars against Japan. Picture, George Salpigtidis. Cahill soars against Japan. Picture, George Salpigtidis soars News Corporation Australia. In the last half hour the two best chances Syria created were the penalty, and they hit the post after the ball was probably a meter over the line, he said. Two different decisions there and even their two most threatening moments are gone. We actually defended pretty well, which we haven't had to do a lot of in the campaign. Some of our defensive work was good and Matty, Ryan, pulled off a couple of good saves which we haven't needed him to do for quite a while. Knowing how strong we are at home, I'm looking forward to the second leg. I'm not complacent, but I'm pretty comfortable with where we're at.